Today is indeed an exciting day for staff, researchers at Itemba Labs here in East River in Cape Town, as well as for the Department of Science and Innovation. Of course, uh, this comes with the launch or the opening of the South African isotype facility um, based here on uh, the premises of Itemba Labs. Joining me is Dr. Gillian Orenser um, to explain to us exactly what kind um, of research and development happens here at Itemba Labs um, in the development of uh, treatment and also um, hardware tools uh, to eventually treat uh, cancer. Doctor, very warm good day to you. Um, Itemba Labs is not a new facility. It's been here for some 30 years and you've been uh, producing, uh, you know, cancer treatment, if one can call it that, uh, uh, for, for, for decades. Talk to us a bit uh, about the history of Itemba Labs and the kind of science that happens here. Yeah, so as you said, um, Itemba Labs has been around for more than 30 years. Um, obviously started as a facility that does three things. First of all, research. Secondly, the production of isotopes. And at that stage, we were also involved in particle therapy. So we were treating patients with cancer using either protons or neutrons. But then over time, we phased out the particle therapy program. And at the moment, we have a dedicated accelerator, which we call the separated sector cyclotron. And that we use to do two things. We do the basic fundamental, but also applied science. And on the other end, we produce what we call the radio pharmaceuticals. Now, Doc, I think the question um, that layman would ask is is what exactly is an isotope? Um, what does it do? What is a radioisotope? Explain that concept to us and how eventually um, this is used in a hospital or clinical setting uh, to detect cancer and also then treat it. Yeah, so, so for those, you know, people who still remember some of their school chemistry, uh, you would know iso means the same and tope really refers to the number of protons. Uh, so if you have different nuclei with the same number of protons but different number of neutrons, we call them isotopes. So in nature, we have elements that are naturally radioactive. In other words, they are unstable. And in order for them to become stable, they emit radiation. But the nice thing about that is that we can use our understanding of the basic sciences to actually produce elements that are radioactive. So when I talk about a radioisotope, it is basically us using our basic science to take a normal element and convert it into something that's radioactive. In other words, it has the ability to become stable by emitting radiation. And radiation is nothing more than energy. And with the energy, we can then end up either diagnosing in the case of cancer and if we know what we're doing we can even treat cancer. Doc, um, this new facility, the South African Isotope Facility uh, now offers uh, Itemba Labs really um, additional capacity to do more. Explain to us what this new lab will, uh, facility will consist of, uh, the kind of equipment and also how it will then assist um, Itemba Labs to, to, to further the work that it has been doing over these past few decades. Yeah, so as I mentioned at the moment we have one machine doing two jobs, right? It produces produces accelerated particles that's used by the physicists for their basic research, but we also use those particles to produce isotopes. So with the launch of this new facility, which we call the South African Isotope Facility, we are establishing a dedicated machine, which is a 70 MMV machine, and that machine will be solely used for the production of isotopes. In other words, because we have a dedicated machine, we can basically produce more, right? So we enhance the production, but the flip side of the coin is that the old machine is now available for fundamental and applied research on a 24-7 basis. So we're basically doing two things. We are trying to make an even bigger societal impact because we are increasing our production yield, but at the same time, we are advancing the frontiers of science because our scientists who are interested in the why and the what if questions are able to pursue that on a more, let's call it, advanced level. Dr. Gillian Aronson, thank you so much for your explanation. So, of course, speaking to us there uh, from Itemba Labs about uh, the launch today of the South African Isotope Facility, uh, which will not only uh, assist the facility in increased production, but also uh, for very important uh, skills transfer as well as further research development in this field.